interfell much. And we're back. All right, so. Uh, hello, as you just saw, we got a pretty cool cutscene of uh, this uh, guy breaking down the wall and uh, no. them Hi, breaking no. through. I don't think I ever did this far. It does you no good in the keg. Well, uh, that's the, one of the beauties of the stream. You get to see stuff you've never seen before. Welcome, dudes 11. You were cleaning the back room and Stinky's litter box. That's good. I've been thinking. We got all this beer that Chen brewed, and we got all these people together that you've gathered. We should bring the two together. There's a bunch of folks out there in the field risking their lives for Pandaria. You and I should at least bring them a keg or two. They might raise their mugs in victory. They might enjoy one last drink before getting skivered by a mantid. Either way, I wouldn't want them to fight without a good brew in their belly. All right, then. Holy shit. He's got a lot of barrels with him. Alright, my. Wow, a woman. Okay. May motions toward the battlefield. <clears throat> you see those huge commanded commanders out there? They have a strange aura about them. It reminds me of the sadness we saw at Zeus' watch. Perhaps they are under the influence of the Shah, too? I kept Ken Ken's mask. The one he used to remove the Shah from Yinmo. I believe that if we use it on the Mantid, we can convince them to turn back. Travel safe. All right, and Lunmai. Pandaria conceives a great darkness. Without the wall to protect us, we barely stand a chance. If you hadn't gathered so many people to help us, we wouldn't have a prayer. Check in with Captain Oakenshield. He should be up near the back, of, uh, breaking the wall. Kill as many Mantids as you can on the way. If we win, we win. If we lose, we go down fighting. For Pandaria! Yeah, the Western wind. Funny thing, there's quite a few references here to Game of Thrones when this came out years ago. And now the wall is broken down. Which, I mean, happened in the last season of Game of Thrones, so... So the question is, was that part of the books written? Hmm. Or Probably not. did George R. R. Martin get a little bit uh, more reference from uh, World of Warcraft? <laughs> um, that's a good question. So I'm not gonna talk about much of anything that's happened in the recent or in this season, oh, but yeah. stuff that's happened in previous seasons, like the finale of the last season, is definitely, definitely a huge homage to. Wrath of the Lich King. Yeah. Also, it's funny. This wall breaking came out when that happened last season, and this was from. Oof. I want to say like 2004. Wait. No. <laughs> 2014. So this was like five years ago. At least. Yeah. May have been six years ago. It was a while ago. Right, let's grab that the commander and throw the mask on him. I don't think it looks anything like the mask Ken Ken was wearing. Namely, it's a lot bigger. Oh, I have to have it afflicted by fear? We have to kill the, uh, we have to put the, I already put the mask on it, so... Oh, okay. Then it caused the shot to come and then we kill the shot. I'll do this one. Okay. There you go. Manifestation of Fear. So if you guys couldn't guess, uh, perhaps this one is a different Shah. We've dealt with the Shah of Doubt and the Shah of Despair. Now we're dealing with Manifestations of Fear. In the middle of a battlefield? <laughs> Maybe Pandaria will make a good home after all. <laughs> you miss Mop? You sniff on these? That's good to know. Uh, I didn't really care for mobs that much. Like, I, I liked it. 
obviously because I like most things. Uh, I enjoyed questing through it, but the overall feel to the story of Warcraft, it kind of just felt like filler. Uh, up until the very end, when they brought it together, I think, really well. Um, yeah. And uh, Garrosh ended up being a super good bad guy. Sorry, spoilers. Um, yeah, if anyone didn't know... I, I, I thought they um, made Garrosh into uh, a very good villain by the end. Yeah. I really... Uh, I ended up really liking Mop, and uh, unfortunately... I actually really like Legion as well, but uh, I haven't really found the same enjoyment in uh, Battle for Azeroth. And it's not even because of the story. I actually really like the story of Battle for Azeroth. I think their cinematics and their story of the Atelier has gone really, like, they did a really good job with it, unfortunately. They barred some of the story behind group content that uh, I just don't have time to do. Like how there's that massive Kuchong or whatever over there. Colossus. But it's like don't you don't have to kill it. It's oh, just wow. attacking the town. Okay, so the uh, masks on the dudes is not shared. Oh. I just share okay, Unless you only need have... one more. Yeah. Okay. So I need three more. PvP was good, uh, raiding was- yeah, raiding was really good Mop. I actually agree with you. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. I remember getting yelled at, uh, by my raid leader because as a death knight I could, uh, yeah, I could avoid so many mechanics in this expansion using AMS. Oh. Like, uh, during the, uh, Shaw of Pride? Is that the one on the- the, the terrace? No. That's fear. Is that fear? Okay. Uh, during the Shaw of Fear, um, he would use that breath attack, and if you got the hit with the initial tick, you got feared. But if you didn't get hit with the initial tick, or the initial uh, status effect, you wouldn't be affected by any of the attack. And I could just AM. Oh, there's a commander. All right. um, I could just AMS the uh, first attack and avoid all the damage. Yeah. Our raid leader wasn't really informed. Oh! They all jumped on me. Oh. Where are you? It's okay, I'm dead. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I was beating up a shot of despair. I thought I could take them on, but... Uh, I thought you'd be able to too, that's weird. Yeah, it was three of them. It is weird. Arena! Really... Hello! Hunter's Hello. Wear. Yeah, uh, we had a, um... A uh, off raid leader, basically a raid leader who also didn't uh, want to raid lead officially. He just wanted to be an Odal. Eh, he was at least smarter than our actual raid leader. <laughs> On the flip side, he had some grounds for being a know it all because he really did know a lot. He was an awesome player, yes. just really full of himself. Sometimes he was a bit wrong, yeah. which happens to everybody. So. But, uh,. Yeah. I'd say the raiding in the Mist of Pandaria was a huge step up from the failure that was Cataclysm's end raid. It looks like the Mantid are definitely under the sway of the Shaw. The Shaw fear. Perhaps they're not attacking after all. Perhaps they are running away from something. What could possibly be on the other side of that wall? Welcome to the Jump Club! <laughs> you didn't like Kata? I, I, I really liked the start of Kata. I did. I thought it was a fantastic, fantastic expansion. Up oh, until yeah. uh, Firelands, where it just felt like they got lazy. Oh, now that you're in the job club, you can have a slime. That's true, um, you'll have a slime on the chat. Yeah. Uh, come over here, we gotta and, deliver uh, some beer. Slimes. Slime. Arvina, you, you, you played World of Warcraft, right? I need to update that command, but... Yeah, he did. Yeah. The beer is here! Drink up, boys! It does you no good in the keg. Nothing well, makes Pandaria... Me. Oh. No more beer to deliver. Right, I reckon I'll head back to Stoneplow and rest my dang arms. Anyway, nothing makes a Pandaren happier than an untapped keg. 
Chen's beer may not have improved anyone's fighting skills today, but it certainly improved their morale. I think that technically is an indirect improvement to their fighting skills, usually. Kata ruined it all? Nah, Kata had a lot of good things. It restructured the world, made it, uh, itself a little more streamlined for story purposes in there. Like, it had a lot of great things, but then they just got really lazy with uh, Firelands. Like, bringing out a raid with only seven bosses, alright, but then to nerf all seven of those bosses ten minutes into the raid, like... It's ridiculous. Get over here, Winter. Yeah, so if you uh, scroll below the stream, there's an extension that can pop out for stream avatars. You can do all sorts of stuff. What is it? My wall. I spent my life atop that wall. Those five students, the ones who were looking for the hidden master, they went up to the front lines alone. I'd send Shadowpan to aid them, but I haven't got any left. There's dangerous creatures up there near the wall. If you find those students, make sure they haven't fallen to any of them. We serve so others do not have. Any of you going to be playing Classic when it comes out? Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I, I, I don't expect it to be as amazing as everybody is claiming it's going to be, but... I'm definitely willing to try it. Yeah, we'll definitely try it. Uh, since I get team. fixated on like one game at a time, like I don't know what's going on here. We're supposed Is to be looking. Flying? Oh, hang on, we gotta be. He yeah, could be flying. We're gonna be looking for Ithic Blood Rager. Yeah, yeah he might not be quite around here. Mm -hmm. Let's just check the other areas. Over here. I found fear mark. Yep. Even if it is, like, I never played classic, but I feel like a lot of people actually. I know a lot of people are viewing classic with rose-colored glasses. Oh yeah, like when they reported shit as bugs, and they were like, nope. That's how it actually was back then. Yeah, like <laughs> that people. Cracks me up. People would report that uh, balance or not balance. Uh, resto druids weren't uh, like they, they weren't effective healers, and it's like yeah, they <laughs> weren't effective healers in classic. Uh, Paladin tanks uh, were reporting that they couldn't effectively tank, and it's like yeah, that's because you couldn't. <laughs> yeah, buff butt. Um, can you reapply battle shout? Nope. So I'll check it out. Um, due to how hardcore it is, probably won't. It might be right up PMS Alley if it's really hardcore, though. Huh, this Blood Rager does not want to fight, apparently. Okay. Are they. Hang on. Let's kill these mantid over here. Yeah, okay. We gotta help guide them through, it looks like. Uh. Jerks. I will drain the blood from your bodies. The huh. red blood. Well, good thing we have blue blood. Stay away or from green blood. Claws. They look sharp. Do they? That's a lot of claws. Look at them. What the fuck? You're just throwing claws at them. They didn't even do anything. You haven't played retail since Garrison days? Um, I didn't like the Garrison personally. Um. It's another thing. The storytelling well, in um, in uh, Warlords of Draenor, again, I really like the storytelling. Um, I actually really like the rating in War uh, Warlords of Draenor, too. Yeah, a lot of people like the garrison originally, but then they're like, oh, this yeah. is... <laughs> These mankers messed no with the wrong poison. No time, brothers. We've got to keep fighting. Yeah, so, basically, the, the game itself, I found that, um, Power Warriors now, uh, I actually don't really know, uh, to be honest, um, I've never played a max level warrior, this is the highest level warrior I've ever really made, uh, and actively played, other than my Morgan, and even then I don't remember, he's, no, he wasn't a tank. My main is usually Death Knight or, uh, Demon Hunter. Ah, uh, yes, the Take care of those eggs. I love my demon hunter. Yep. Oops. 
vulnerability. Damn um, it! As far as how it plays, I'm not a huge fan of Warrior and how it plays. It just doesn't feel as nice to me as my Demon Hunter does. But it play it feels a lot better now than it did early level. It's laying some eggs. Oh, that's all you really eggs. It thinks it's cool. Don't think about that. But like yeah, while while it's been improving in a lot of areas, it has. Like quality of life is definitely better than it was. You came, Mantid. Get back over your wall, you chickity dukes. The fuck is a chickity duke? Anyway. Oh motherfucker. Probably. I don't know. Shit asses. Remember when DK first came out, they were prospect for tanking? They were actually all three tanks could ta uh, all three specs could tank. Uh, oh, yeah. Just dual wielding tank was the thing because a lot of people loved the idea of dual wield tanking. Even I tried it for a bit. I was actually blood DPS, and I was so sad when they took that away from me. That's true. For the pride of the mantid. Right Which way did he go? It's so confusing. Guys, his name is Tendon Slice, so just guard your tendons and you'll be fine. Yes, guard all of your tendons at yeah, once. Exactly. Yeah, I was really sad when they got rid of Blood DKs, but then I realized they changed uh, Unholy DK to play exactly like Blood DK did, and I was like, oh, okay. And then you liked the ghoul. I did. The ghoul is amazing. And I just realized that there's a ghoul figure I can buy. Oh my god. They actually made one. We are the sword in the shadows. They can't keep fighting like this forever. Those kids are downright heroic. But I don't want them to die as heroes. It's time to throw in the towel. I'm going to withdraw the, the what few forces I have. We may have to fall back to Stormstep Brewery or even Half Hill. That call is Commander Lun Mai's make. You go ahead, deliver word to the commander. My shadow pen will be shortly behind. Watch the shadows. I don't know, I feel like we've killed a lot of these things. So the focus of my plot, my uh, my uh, stream tends to, or not tends, but is story. So we get to the level limit of an area, and then we lock our level until we get through the story of that that expansion. So we'll be unlocking it again once we're done, Miss Pandaria. We must. Not yeah, we hit level ninety when we were like still in um, Jade Forest. Yeah, I see. Well, we give it our all. It is time to evacuate, save lives, and reassess our strategy. Before these methods take uh, over the entire valley, oh, 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 not lost. That. What is it? Oh, the commander speaks hastily. You have. He has the weapon he needs to win this battle. He has you. But it's too hard, you might say. You would be wrong. It's not too hard. Nothing is too hard. Now go, Miro. Luminol. Go and save Stoneplow. Speak with Miss Fanny at Stoneplow and with her help defeat the Grand You can do this! But you cannot do it alone. You will need the help from that Mushan beast. Yes, I believe her name is uh, Miss Fanny. Hmm. That's weird. Miss Fanny looks at you expectantly. Her eyes twinkle with anticipation. Miss Fanny's moment of glory has arrived. Let's go. Oh shit. Am I even guiding her? Uh, I don't think you are, no. It's auto. Gun. Oh, I can't you see bits? Uh, I'm not sure. You can try reloading, maybe. Uh, that might help. But yeah. Um, I see a lot of streams from Warcraft that are all like endgame stuff, which is fine. Uh, people like endgame dungeons. They like raids. Oh, shit. He just knocked me. All right. Okay. Now I gotta use the ability Unyielding Fist. Oh, I see. Yeah. The 
training has now come in handy. All that punching we did. It's injured, don't stop striking. Who will die first, me or it? Oh no. Keep punching! Oh shit, look at it. It's being ripped apart. You're whispering while you're inside this thing. Yeah. Savior of Stoneplow. That the I best barely well? made it. Yeah, me too. I had like just under five percent health left. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't have that achievement ever. I'm pretty sure I never did that. I can't believe it. You, a form-born blood elf, have succeeded where all the Shadow Pan have failed. You succeeded where the Wall has failed. We may hold this farming village after all. The gratitude of Stoneplow. One last thing. Blood elves. Don't worry, it's not another favor. You've killed enough Manta today. We recently received a shipment of high quality armor from Kunlai Summit. I was planning to keep them for my men, but I th can't think of anybody more deserving than you. You'll find them on the second floor of the inn, here in town. We serve so others do not have to. Yep. That's another reason why we're doing this too, and that's why I invited PMX, because I figured there were some quests that she'd never finished, and she'd hopefully get some enjoyment out of them. Yes. Narsong Greaves. Hold on. Well, these gotta upgrade to be better than what I got. Nope, no upgrade. No better. Alright, well, whatever. They're slightly better than what I had. Read more, like a bedtime story. Yeah, we uh, we read everything that uh, in the game. Piamet reads the uh, lady NPCs, and I uh, voice act the uh, males. Sometimes I read other things, like miscellaneous, but... Okay, so we need to go back down to the grass ring wild, because there's still more to do down there. Ah, uh, fuck. What do you mean, ah, uh, fuck? Ah, uh, Uh, these characters are on Moonguard, our mains are on Zul'jin, and then I have another main on Kargath. Yeah, we have quite a few on Kargath. I have some on Whisperwind that uh, kind of got abandoned after a while. <laughs> um, sadly. Ah, oh, Undies is a green slime. Yes. I think it's been a green slime from the beginning. Probably, I just never looked until now. Your main uh, is on Area 52. Awesome. Uh. That was a really popular server when I uh, first started playing back when... Uh, oh, what the fuck was it? Burning Crusade, that's the word I was looking for. Was uh, just tapering off. Alright, here is a flight point. I don't know if there's any quests here. They're not. No. Nope. Right. Okay, let's go to. Do you want to go to the flight point to our west or east? So you're already heading east. So oh, west. Oh my god, I'm trying to turn on your stream. You're a loser. Ugh. So yeah, it gives you a chance to see the Crassering Wilds too. Another reason why we do the stream is, is I got a lot of friends who uh, stop into the stream. Uh, and they've never seen the game, and they just love seeing how beautiful a lot of these zones are. Like, even the Crassering Wilds has its charm. That and one of the small pleasure or joys I take is taking screenshots of each area and making thumbnails for my videos. Which is why I need Wintry to finish my Dragon Quest X videos. 
Maybe you'd say that. Ack. Okay. Uh. It's this guy, but there's no thing here. Hello, Go flight home. point. Go for oh. victory. I, we're missing a breadcrumb to come here, I guess. You know what this might be a part of? Come lie. No, um, this might be a part of uh, that Lion's Watch uh, update that came out. Do you remember? What? There was like a no. short little thing on the crash ring. Oh, now. yeah. That come uh. out after you finish all of the areas. Yeah. That would be weird. That's entirely possible. Yeah, but the only quest down there is for Nat Paggle. Yeah, so. I'm just gonna grab the flight point. Okay. And then I we'll will... head up to Valley of the Four Winds. Uh, Kunlai. Wait, yeah, well, we gotta go to the Valley of the Four Winds, because that's what the quest to Kunlai is. Uh... Chill Stream! I like Chill Streams, they make me happy. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Undies, I actually started World of Warcraft just probably a month before uh, Wrath of the Lich King came out, so I was on like level 58 when the, when the expansion came out. Yeah. Got all these islands here. Nyali in the lagoon. And I started right before ICC came out. It's true. It's actually. I remember right before Dungeon Finder came out. And then Dungeon Finder came out, and I got really hooked because I was like, wow, this is a lot more fun than just questing all the time. You started playing WoW when TBC came out? Yeah, so you started playing a little bit before I did then. Oh, well, I say a little bit, but probably, yeah. Uh, oops, no okay. joke. Okay, Ingu. Yep. Oh, no. That area down there is where a, a uh, scenario took place. All right, let's grab the flight point up to. Uh... Browse. Take your time. Yeah. Uh, Look at this guy. The grassy climb, I think. Oh wait, we gotta show something. May the mist protect. What are we showing? Where is he? Not bagel. No, 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 no. Conan the dog barian. That is something. <laughs> this is Conan the dog barian. So you guys are old schoolers. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. At the yeah. very least, Wintry is a wrath baby. Yeah, back when that term was a thing. What are we looking for? <sighs> Where is he? Hold on. It is very wise to shock you. Here. May the red crane live forever. Really, little cat? Okay. The sun's right there, though. You don't need to come in here. Yeah, what are you looking for? In this building. I don't think so. Oh, uh, maybe we need to go to Nat Pargles Island. Probably. There's a giant shark there. Or maybe there's nothing on this island. Where was? Well, exploration. Yeah, come over to me. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Ugh. That lagoon down oh, there is that, not. Is that shark? Look at the size of this this shrouded crustacean here. Yeah, that's um. It's like the size of a whale shark. Well, it's not called crustacean. Oh, no, that's a caricature on uh, that you're looking at, All right, and there's a cetacean, not crustacean. Cetacean. You yeah. said crustacean. I did. You guys just questing, not doing any duns? Uh, we do dungeons as they come to them in the uh, in the zone. 
A lot of times we have to do them on our mains though because there's just nobody questing. <sighs> yeah. Or there's just nobody queuing for dungeons. Yeah. Sadly. But yeah, we, uh, when we get to them in the storyline, we, we do the dungeon. Unless there's no storyline attached to them, then I'll just throw them in. Uh, Where's Matt Paggle? Not on that island. Where? Matt Paggle's up where I am. Where are you? At the Angler's Wharf. Oh, right. Okay. Wait for me. Oh. The fatigue honk scared the shit out of me. I don't have a fatigue honk, thankfully. It's from GTFO. Which is helpful. Sometimes. Indeed. So yeah, the next uh, the next place we're going to be going here is Kanlai Summit when, when she finally finishes what she's trying to show us. Yeah, I don't know if you know what it is. Not a boring Iron Man challenge? I can see some excitement in the Iron Man challenge if people find that fun, but for me, I'm all about story, so this is what I set out to do. Nah. Here we are. <laughs> oh. Yes. The Master Vader. <laughs> well, this is literally his name. It's not even his title. It's not subtle at all. <laughs> the Master Vader. <laughs> Master Vader. I love it. Alright, hang on. <sighs> now that that's done, let's fly over to this beach over here. Okay. You never notice that NPC name anymore? See, that's the joyous thing about the stream, too, is not only do we do the story, but we, uh, we do a lot of exploration, too, so. Um, yeah. I noticed that. You get to see some cool stuff that uh, <laughs> you may have missed. All right, okay. let's fly up to uh, Kamlai now. Yeah. P the Magic D, you arrived just in time. Well, a little bit late. People come into my home and make fun of me. Also, masturbator. I know the feels. Oh, I see. <laughs> you arrived for that. Good. Perfect time, P. I'm, I'm glad you showed up for that. I thought that uh, bird flying by was called a peanut hawk is, at first. Mm. Tayoma! Did Tayoma, did you arrive just in time for the masturbator as well? Anyway, P, we're going to Kanlai Summit, which is one of my favorite zones in uh, Mr. Pandaria. Uh, it also has some of my favorite dialogue leading into the zone. Did you uh, forget about that NPC? I did. Oh. I didn't spend much time in that that area actually because I'm not really into fishing in this game or any game. So. <laughs> I remember people talking about it. I arrived in time to hear you talk about it. Indeed. All right, hang on. I gotta reset the recording.